Caravan Salon 2018, everybody's packing up, but I'm so keen I'm still here. So this is a death left, T6611, and it's on a pedestal, it's moving around. It looks very much like the T7017. It costs just under 60,000. It is seven meter, well, 695 centimeters long, 276 high, 233 wide. It weighs uh, 2,945 kilos, giving 554 kilos of payload. There is a rather large, ish a longish garage goes right the way through but there is a problem you're not going to get a bike in there a set of skis and lots of sets of skis in there if you're into skiing that is right now let's have a look inside how we're we doing in here okay this is a layout which has got a lowish bed now today i saw this van had this uh, really high bed but you could get bikes in the back now that's something I'd like to suggest for manufacturers. Having said that, they may decide that getting bikes in the back, it's not their, what their clients want. Got bikes in the back, he had to move the thing up higher, well, you'd lose that, storage here, you'd lose your hanging space there, you'd lose your storage above the bed, you'd lose your hanging space here, and, You'd lose the whole lot, in fact, wouldn't you? Well, no, you wouldn't lose that <laughs> and the other side, but you, you'd lose that. So it would sort of mean a completely new layout. Now, putting your hanging space over your bed, of course, means no, more space in the bed. And this is one of these enormous beds. You can stick this cushion down here, be the other way around, and that'll give you a stack of space. Now, also, you've got your boiler there. And down here, you've got a bit more storage as well plastic bags in there for example right now here uh, I've got a false mirror with a there's a shower down there with two plugs at either end they're sort of the motorhome ones but you've got a domestic plug hole in there Sh this here comes out to reveal a shower like that see right and there's your there's your shower apparatus if you want to shower in front of the mirror to shave or something unfortunately you can't do that and you've got a bit more storage in there. You can keep your cosmetic stuff in there, your soaps, your creams, your whatever else you might use. So, and notice how the sink goes ne neatly over the toilet. There you go. That's a lot of clearance there. You can keep some towels on top of the toilet when you're in the shower. Right, uh, do you like that or not? I'm not so keen on the... I like to have the option of being able to shower with, with everything open. You may think, well, yeah, but I don't want to get everything wet. Okay, that's up to you. Right, this is moving around at present. Fortunately, I'm not getting seasick. Uh, big table in here, plenty of space there. Uh, I might have to suddenly stop video in this, you know, for obvious reasons. I'm uh, making nuisance of myself by filming. There we go, the skylight. Look at that enormous skylight. Isn't that good? Right. And sit here as the world turns by. Okay, I'll have to go out. See if I can film something else. I don't want to, don't want to lose my my bag. I want to just show you quickly what it looks like as it's getting tidied up. We've got that van over there, which is pretty brilliant, really. The photovoltaics. Now, see the film I did on that. I think that them photovoltaics are are um, there to power the stuff which is inside uh, the van, not the mo engine, the motor itself, which is a pity. Right, now, okay, Deathlefts i7, Deathlefts i7051, there's the A6977, but, hello, hello. <laughs> it's nice when people know me, <laughs> but, uh, look, I, I've got a feeling I'm going to be in Isni Al Algoy before long, so I'm, perhaps I'll have to wait until I get there. So I don't want to get in anybody's uh, way as I'm filming. So I think that's from the left stand at the floor for about.